Today is day four in Seoul, maybe five. It is slightly overcast today and we are walking Sokchon Lake. Actually, it just started to rain. I've never seen swans at a lake before. So pretty. Yep, it's starting to rain. It's raining so much harder now all of a sudden. The rain really picked up. Why? It's the only... Ah! I'm getting soaked! It's raining a lot harder now. And we have a tiny umbrella. It's pouring. The rain cleared up. Okay, and now we're just waiting to meet up with Poramianni at Chamshir Station so that we can go eat. We just came out with all of the panchan. What is this? Yuboya. Ah, kungnamurku. How nice. Thank you, husband. So thoughtful. Dishing up for everybody. Thank you. Refreshing for the sides. And we ordered the ojingo bulgogi. So there's three types of spice. There's mild, medium, and very spicy. And so we're trying the very spicy one. Third one right here. Looks like we have lettuce here, pickled radish, and on the eagle boya. Apparently that's some middle part of octopus. So this is the part that connects the octopus's head with the body. So like the neck, I guess, octopus neck. We met up with my cousin again. What I'm on these here today. All right, it just came out. Wow, that looks amazing. We're just gonna stir fry it and cook it table side. Right here, we just turned on the grill. Stay tuned till the end. At the end, we're gonna add fried rice. This is watercress with octopus. She's just cutting it up for us before we start stir frying it in the sauce. All right, we just stir it ourselves. Make sure you keep stirring so that the octopus is cooked thoroughly. Anisha's just using two spoons to <laughs> stir up the food. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And then we added the bean sprouts into the stir fry and we're just going to kind of spread that around. Just look at that technique, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, I am so hungry. I can't wait to dig in. It's ready! Yum! If you eat it with the minari or the watercress, it tastes good. What's that? Fresh salt.
So as the stir fry continues to cook, basically the stew or the sauce portion will get spicier and spicier. I can already feel it building in my mouth. It's really good though. Definitely tastes like Korea. Don't burn your mouth. Oh yeah, that's the best. So we're out of soybean sprouts, so Ani is gonna go grab some more. It's self-service and you can get as many as you want. We got the bean sprouts. Just a reminder, this is called Kunsan Ojingo. It's a chain or a franchise in Korea, so you can find a lot of branches in different areas, but the one in Chamshir, that's the main branch. Definitely come to this one. It really is getting spicier and spicier. I can feel the heat really building on my tongue. Especially when it's really hot. The texture of the octopus is really good. It's like perfectly chewy and like the best way possible. Not overly chewy, just has like enough resistance. And then the herbs are really good too. So the watercress gives it a really like almost medicinal flavor to balance out the intense spice. But again, best way possible. I don't know how Koreans do it, but they balance it out really nicely. Wow, look at that octopus though. So we just ordered some fried rice to add to at the end. My cousin said that this is dessert in Korea. Wow, that looks fun. The sauce is really spicy. I'm really curious to how we're gonna be able to handle this when it's just like ingrained into the rice. So she just finished stirring up the rice into fried rice, but she said to wait to eat it because at the bottom, they're gonna make nurungji, which is like a crispy portion of the rice kind of thing. Uh, so we're just gonna let it sit, maybe like two minutes or three minutes or so, and then we'll start eating. So while it's cooking, you have to make sure to keep flipping it so that it doesn't burn, but you still want that kind of crispy texture at the end. All right, we stirred it around a little bit more. Let's try this bite right here. Oh wow, that's glistening. That looks so good. Yep, and they're all scraping it from the bottom. That's how you know it's good. The crispy rice. Gotta scrape off the little bits on the bottom here for that extra crispy, crunchy texture in the rice. We're paying now, but oh my gosh. Literally one of, can I say this like a million times? I'm having the best meals in Korea. Just literally the best meals. We're on our way to Namdae Munshijang. There are a bunch of street vendors all along this area. We had to buy socks. found a hot dog stall. This is what we're here for. It's like made out of glutinous rice flour and so it has like this extra little chew to it. A 
Is it good? You like it? That's good, huh? You want to pour some of the soy sauce into the vegetable one. Up there. Just eating by the stall. This is kind of what curry is all about. Street food. We're also going to put some of the spicy sauce. Which one did you like better? That's the regular garlic soy sauce. They're both good. Okay. Makes sense. Look at all of the detail, so colorful. here for dinner oh my gosh you can smell the charcoal already so this is where the magic's gonna happen let's start grilling some pork so taking a look at the menu basically we can get either marinated pork non marinated pork naengmyeon, and then tenjangjigae and we have a little marinated salad looks like it has a slight spice and it's made out of scallions and the regular Korean barbecue fixins. We have Chongyang gochu, lettuce, Napa cabbage kimchi, a Tuanjang soybean paste, salt, and garlic, as well as a pickled radish wrap, soybean sprouts, and marinated perla leaf or genni. On these, asking my husband if he wants some soju. We're definitely getting soju today. Oh, here comes the charcoal. Wow. Be careful, it's hot. Oh, I can feel that radiating on my face. So they brought out the unmarinated pork thigh beef first, tejigai beef, and it even has the bone on it. I'm ready to eat. Cook faster. and charred. Ooh, definitely getting that grill flavor. She's gonna put it in the scallion salad and pick it up. Oh, don't forget the salt. She added the salt and then enjoy. And we also ordered their specialty yangnyum karbi. This is marinated pork. We 
start grilling up a storm. It smells really good. It's like perfectly grilled. Perfect kiss of smoke. And I can't wait to try that marinade. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. The meat is getting nice and caramelized. Looks so juicy. We really love charcoal grilling. Charcoal is the best. We also ordered the tenjang jjigae because somebody else ordered it and it smelled so good. It's really like perfectly caramelized The bone piece is finished cooking. Yum! I call this one. Seriously, this pairing of this like really strong tenjang jjigae and the yangnyam garbi is like perfect. They're definitely best friends. All right, the ice cold naengmyeon is out. We got bibin naengmyeon, which means that there's spicy sauce that's been put over it. And now we're just gonna mix up the naengmyeon. This is what we call kogi dessert. The dessert after kogi. And then you can eat it with the leftover kogi. That was the best! It was so good. And it was actually really packed in there because apparently, so right now it's Chuseok time and everyone's eating like Korean pancakes and Korean fried foods. And so everyone is like really craving that super either spicy flavor or sweet flavor. And the marinade on the yangnyam garbi was like kind of on the sweeter side. And so I guess a bunch of people came over here, but yep, cleared, ate everything, super full, and we're going home. Good night, Seoul. Might as well pick up some breakfast for tomorrow at the good old Korean convenience store.